guys. So we're all done with that dress. The one I bought in Hawaii with the tube top kind of ruche top. It was a cute dress, I guess. The fabric is really pretty, but the tube to top thing just what didn't wasn't it for me. I love what it turned into. How cute is that? I know I have leggings on, but, and then I took some of that scarf. I just added it to the bottom. I didn't do anything on the top. I just put this little button. I love it. Now it just needs to get warm outside. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, so last night I had trouble sleeping because one, I was dreaming of Bob barbecuing me salmon. And I also had this idea for a self-drafted easy t-shirt pattern that I could do short sleeve or long sleeve. And then when I woke up this morning, I just had to draft the pattern, which I did before I made the sundress you just saw, and that I had some fabric I could test it with. How cute is that? I love it. And it fits great. Now, if I knew how to create it, a digital pattern out of it and or upsize it, I'd give it to you all for free, but I don't know how to do that. So if somebody can help me out, let me know. Okay, I'll be back. I took some more knit fabric I had in my stash for a long time. I've actually made a tank top out of this before, which I believe, although it's too big for me, I still own. But I just couldn't bear to part with the fabric because I like it so much. So I took it and I made another one of these t-shirts, a little bit longer sleeves. I mean, I love the pattern. I also went out this morning, I had to buy thread. And I was li actually looking at fabric. I was at Joann's. I mean, I had to have thread. You can't really thrift that. And fabric is so expensive. Oh my God. So although some of the fabrics, knits especially, are beautiful out there, I'm just, that's just, yeah, that's crazy. So I bought some t-shirts that they had also at Joann's on sale. They were like $5 each. I got the biggest sizes I could. I got two white ones in a double XL and two pink ones in an XL. And the white ones are already sort of tie-dyeing with writ dye. They've been sitting here for a while. And the pink ones, I think I'm going to bleach dye with art foamies. I know, sounds like a good idea to me too. All right, so I'll let you know how it turns out. I'll be back. I'm gonna cut them up and make more of these shirts. Yeah, anyway, I'll be back. What time is it? 2.56. I got the video edited, the video edited. Yeah, video, yeah, I got the vlog edited. Um, in communication with Mike Deakin and Bea Grob from RC Trio. Um, we have some exciting stuff coming up at the end of the year, so stay tuned. And if you're not part of that Facebook group, maybe you want to like join down below. I'll put the link. Um, washing these shirts are tight, tie dyed. I mean, I haven't tie dyed anything since I was a teenager, but you know, I did my best with what I had. So hopefully it sticks because it turned out cool. And then I bleach painted with the art foamies to the other two t-shirts. And they are, yes, I love the way they turned out. They turned out really great. And I am going to definitely be making a shirt out of this. This is cool. I love it. absolutely love it so they're sitting here waiting to go in the wash which is fine and the other ones are just about done yay all right I still have to write the weekly posts and all of that stuff I checked in with the kids and grandson and grand dog and got the cutest picture of grandson napping in his little donut pillow with grand dog's head on right next to him. She's also napping. That's so cute. Um, anyway. All right, now I've got my 
new shirt I made on. I like it. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute, I think. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. It's almost 11 o'clock on Tuesday, April something. It's 18th, maybe? 19th? I don't know. Let's see. Um, still don't know. Oh, April 18th. Um, I have a couple of journal pages I need to film, and um, yeah, I've got some filming on my schedule that I need to I need to not be too distracted by sewing and things to do the actual filming, although one of the videos is sewing. Anyway, I set up a little like journaling station over here on the tool desk um, so that I can do some filming and because of my fall last week, I don't have cords running across the middle of the floor um, because I did fall. If you didn't watch last week's vlog, I'll put a link down in the video description. Um, I did fall. I'm okay, but yeah, still sore. So I think when I have to film and I'm journaling and filming, I'm gonna be doing it over here on the tool desk. All the plugs are right there. The lighting can be permanently um, set up over there and the tripod and everything and it's also out of the way um, I think it's a good solution. I don't know why I didn't think of it before but you know hindsight's 2020 right? Anyway, so I'm gonna work on that today and we'll work with the changes I made and see if that spot works for me. I see how the lighting is and everything and then I have a pattern cut out I want to work on at some point this week and I've got a couple of things to put away. And yes, for the million people who have asked me, um, the bleaching with the Art Foamy didn't do anything to the stamp, but I did wash it off right away with soap and water. All right. I guess I better stop procrastinating and get to it. I'll Guys, be back. I'm just looking in the viewfinder of the video camera and I'm thinking I should have done this a long time ago. The lighting is great in this corner. There is a bit of a shadow, but holy cow. All right, let's get to it, shall we? Got one RT Trio video filmed. I'm actually gonna film another one ahead of time and I have a mood board to do that's for actually later in the summer. So I'm gonna try to get all of those things done today. And then maybe tomorrow and or Thursday, I need to film an abstract watercolor video, one or two. I don't know, it might be a couple parter. And I need to film a sewing upcycling video. And I need to film some more fixing the flow. Hopefully I can get all of those done before Friday. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be back. I got another one of these aprons done, which I'm pretty happy about. The straps were way too long, so I cut... I don't know, about 12 inches off of each side. But it, I got it done, it's really cute. And uh, yeah, I got three videos filmed, which I didn't expect, still finding thread on the floor. And uh, yeah, now it's after six o'clock, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm out of water anyway, so it's time to go downstairs. I'll be back. It happens on counseling day. I forgot to vlog all day, sorry guys. Um, I did get some projects and sewing done. Not only because that's what I do, but I do extra or more of it on days when I've had counseling and stuff. Um, I also need to update the grocery list, which I'm doing now because multitasking, right? It's already 6.44 p.m. Um, anyway, I did a couple more sewing projects, one of which I filmed. I've got like four videos to edit now, but I have a couple more I want to film, and then I'm just going to do all the editing at once, theoretically. Good morning, everybody. It's just after 10 a.m. on Thursday, April 20th, I think, yeah. I know yesterday I didn't do much vlogging, barely any. It was a tough counseling day, to be fair. I worked through uh, quite a few things. I'm better today. Um, I'm also becoming okay with saying no. And doing it for the right reasons. 
aka my mental health. So yeah, there's that. Keeping my schedule fairly light if possible is one way. And uh, yeah, anyway, I got a really cute two-piece outfit done yesterday, which I filmed part of the process. Now the videos aren't super tutorial as far as sewing is concerned. <clears throat> They're meant to be short, fun videos. I'm probably not going to be the best at teaching sewing videos, like tutorial garment sewing videos, but if you want me to do that, I guess I can work on it. I will include a couple of channels I think are better for that in the video description of those videos. For those who want to know, uh, I'm having a lot of fun um, making clothing for myself and altering things and some things that were in my closet, some things I find at the thrift. Anyway, I did make one sort of dress thing out of a bed sheet from a pattern I had. And after I did it, it was cu it's cute and all, but I immediately knew it needs different straps. I need to do something else with it. So I'm going to be altering that later today and making it something more fun because why not? Life is too short. But first, we're going to go to the thrift store because I do want to keep my eyes out for a couple things. I have one of the um, t-shirts I recently made on this one's a three-quarter sleeve. I've used the same pattern to make a short sleeve, a three-quarter sleeve, and a long sleeve. I like all of them. My favorites are the three-quarter sleeve or the long sleeve. I've worn all of As soon as I made them, like the next day, I started wearing them. They're all now going to be dirty after today. Um, so going forward, it's a pattern I'm going to want to make more of. And um, knit fabric, though, is really expensive. So thrifting um, knit garments that I can make shirts out of is like, that's the way to go. Um, you need a two-way stretch knit. But the pattern I drafted is super easy and super flattering. So it'll be something I keep making. I also have to check the P.O. box, but I think I'm going to just park my car at the thrift store and walk over because it's only a couple buildings down the street, so it's going to be easier than driving. I think I'd rather get wet because it's raining than drive over there. Because, yeah, the road's a mess. All right. I also have to start planning dinner tomorrow because it's family dinner night, so, but I, I'm going to plan today and shop tomorrow morning. That's the plan at the moment anyway. It'll work for me and my mental health and well-being. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Hey, nothing but garbage mail. That being said, I do have a P.O. box if you all want to send me happy mail, I'd welcome it. And my P.O. box is in the video description. So anyway, let's go home now, because now I've got a pile of thrifted things that need to be washed before we do anything else with them. Plus, I kind of need to do laundry, so always things. I'll be back. Not lunch yet, and it's almost one o'clock. But the boho hippie she uh, dress thing I made last night out of a bed sheet, which I'll put a picture here. It was okay, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So I made a few changes. First of all, it's not a dress anymore. Oh, hold on. So it is pants now. <laughs> And I cut the straps off and I put spaghetti straps on because that's cuter. I know it doesn't go with the top I have on or anything. I actually am fully dressed. It has, it fits over all my clothes because it's so loose, but you know what? I'm okay with that. When I was out earlier, I found a couple pair of jeans at the thrift store. Wait, I gotta get the footstool all done. Okay. Uh, um, that, cause I knew I wanted to make a jean skirt, a maxi skirt. And I'd seen a tutorial for a video down, I'll put it down below. What is her name or channel? T Myers, I think. 
Anyway, I'll put a link down below. And I actually watched her video, and then I then I just, you know how your recommendeds go on YouTube, then you could just get video after video of making a jean skirt. Um, and I really thought that was just so interesting, and I wondered if I could find a couple pair of jeans close enough in color um, to make something, and I did. And I, they aren't blue um, or black, they were this pretty gray color, and I thought, oh, that's, that's a great color. I found two pair of jeans, one with sparkly pockets, which is just so fun. And you guys, I made them into a skirt. It's Now it's downstairs in the washing machine. Um, I used to do a lot of stuff with blue jeans and frayed edges. And I want this jean to have frayed edges. Now, I did sort of stay stitch all the seams and to make sure it only unravels to a certain place. Um, and then you clip the seams and then you wash it and dry it and you agitate it. Now I have a big bag that I made a long time ago, probably at least 10 years ago, probably more than that actually, um, back when I first started my YouTube channel. So yeah, definitely longer than that. And it has, it's a big cotton bag with a drawstring and it has tennis balls in it. And so whenever I'm doing this kind of denim work where I want the edges to fray, I get the whole thing constructed, I get the the seams um, stitched and then clip them and then I put it in the bag and stick it in the washer and dryer. Right now it's in the washer. So when it's done and it's dry, I'll pull it out and I'll show you guys, but it is so cute. I can't wait to wear it. I might wear it tomorrow. It's really cute. And yeah, it's raining again outside. Supposedly this time next week, it's supposed to be like 70, 80 degrees, but I will believe it when it happens. But anyway, all right. Everything else that I bought at the thrift is washed and drying, and I'm gonna clean up my mess and get some more water. <clears throat> I need some water. And uh, yeah, just relax for a bit. I doubt we're going walking because it's crazy outside. Anyway, I also dropped a straight pin somewhere on my floor. I heard it hit, but I don't know where it went. I can't find it. You know when you hear something like fall, you can hear it ding on the floor, but then you can never find it. I'm going to end up stepping on it. That's how I'm going to find it. It's my modus operandi. It's, you know. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, how cute is this? You guys, hold on. It's still slightly damp, but I mean, how cute. And these were the pockets from the back of the one pair of jeans. I love it. I'm gonna set it out to dry some more. And I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. How cute. If I can do this, you can do this. Just saying. We are headed out this morning to the grocery store because it's family- Turn day. right onto Southwest one. I gotta have food to cook. So we're gonna go do that. I almost forgot to bring something downstairs. Let's see if I can grab this. Got it. Um, I got the must edit video done and it's rendering right now. I'm gonna try to get the other three videos edited real quick um, while I eat lunch and then hopefully get them all loaded and scheduled or at least the start of that before anybody gets here for dinner. We'll see though, my dad's notoriously early. I also need to do the dishes because the sink is full of dirty dishes again, and the dishwasher's full of clean ones. So that's the thing. We might do that first before we do anything else. Cause yeah, all right. Oh, and when I was out at the shops, I saw one kind of peasant blouse type top. Well, I saw two of them, so. One was $78, just for the top, mind you. And the other one was $54, 54. I spent about $45 yesterday and got enough 
things to upcycle and or thrift flip. Well, upcycle, because I'm not going to sell them, but um, for at least seven different pieces of clothing. Seven, probably more than that, because I bet you I can get, there's a couple of dresses in there, I bet you I can get a couple of different things out of. So, uh, this is why I'm doing this the way I am. So anyway, all right, let's get the dishes done. They're not going to do themselves. I'll be back. You know, I was thinking this weekend was going to be busy and hectic because I had editing to do and scheduling of videos to do and I got it all done. <laughs> um, the longest part was the editing. It used to be the longest part was uploading it to YouTube, but we have recently upgraded our cell phone and internet connection and doubled our speed um, for, up for uploading the videos. I don't remember if that's download speed or upload speed. I can't keep it straight. Anyway, it is so quick now. Oh my God. <laughs> it's amazing. So anyway, that's all done. I had to wait for a couple of links from collaborators, but otherwise I'm good. I even got the collaboration video for May done. I mean, I'm never that far ahead. At least I haven't been for a long time. So anyway, I have a few more things I want to film, but they can wait a week or two because they don't need to be done right this second. Anyway, I'm going to relax for a little bit, watch some YouTube, and then get ready for family dinner night because yeah, I got a big lasagna to cook and that'll take a while. I'll be back. I would say morning, but it's not morning. It's almost four o'clock. Uh, we spent the morning taking my dad out shopping for some clothes and then running an errand or two. And uh, honestly, we've done a whole lot of nothing since we got home. We, we're just exhausted for no particular reason. We're just like tired. tired yeah. Tired. We don't even really want to go walking, but obviously you can see that we're out, so we're going to try to go do that anyway. But yeah, I kind of wanted to go thrifting today, but then after we left my dad, I was just like, t I was so tired. <laughs> was it in the cars? No, it really wasn't. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I need to close the vlog, but... Not only is Mr. Bob sleeping downstairs, he's got the TV on really loud. He fell asleep with a movie playing. Anyway, it's been a tiring day, but it was good. It was good for us to get out and get a walk because it helped our energy levels. I don't know what it was about today, but we were both exhausted. Anyway, I've got a pile of thrifted garments. I will be upcycling in the next few days. And I am hearing you all that you want to see more sewing videos. So, okay, you got it. I also have a promised watercolor video I do still need to film. And two more fixing the flow in your art room videos. I may actually empty my two closets because it needs to be cleaned and I'm thinking about it. Anyway. It's been a good day. I got some sketches done in my watercolor sketchbook. That was great. We had a fun time shopping with my dad this morning and him and his very outgoing, friendly personality, making friends with everybody in the store. And you all, you all would have to meet my dad in person to know that I am not exaggerating. <laughs> he just, that's who he is. He's always been that way. I don't remember him ever not being that way. Anyway. It is pouring rain outside because, you know, we live in a land of much water. And yeah, so anyway, it's been a great week. I got a lot of really good projects done. And I'm looking forward to next week and getting some more done and continuing on with it. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to get up tomorrow to tomorrow, but that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, if you have questions, comments or concerns, leave them down below. We will be getting back to doing some more of this, but also I, I have a couple of um, slow stitch projects in the back of my mind I think I also want to do. So um, 
will be coming in future videos. I gotta sit and make a list because otherwise I'm gonna get too distracted if I don't write things down. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great one. Questions or comments or concerns down below if you would. I do reply to all of my uh, YouTube comments and any relevant links, ways to support the channel and my free content are down below uh, in the video description. I need a video, new video camera, so that's, that's a thing. Anyway, I have a Patreon. Think about joining it. They have not only the Patreon page, but they have their own private YouTube channel and ready access to me. And we have our own Facebook chat in Facebook Messenger, um, just me and them. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, all right, that's it for right now. I'm gonna go back downstairs, pour myself some more water, maybe watch one more YouTube video and then go to bed because it is almost 11 o'clock and yeah. All right, that's it for this week. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. If your weather is getting nice where you are, Go out and take some pictures, do some sketching, breathe some fresh air, just go walk down the block maybe. Open a window, yeah. If it would stop raining for five minutes here, we would do more of that, but you know. All right, that's it. I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.